Hello and welcome to Captain Career Videocast, where I share my vast knowledge in executive career management. My name is Martin Buckland. I'm a global executive career management practitioner. Today we're going to be talking about ways to fail in a job search. You only get one chance. One mistake can lengthen your search. So number one, if you don't have an ATS friendly resume, you are gone. Today, sadly, technology has taken, has infiltrated um, the screening, the processing of your resumes. Doesn't matter whether you're sending to an executive recruiter or whether you're applying for a job or any other medium. You need to have an ATS friendly resume. If you don't, you are gone. So what is ATS? That's that scanning application. So applicant tracking system. And it's a particular format. One character wrong and you could count yourself out of a job search. So you need to have an ATS resume. If you don't, that's one of the failures. No LinkedIn, you need to have LinkedIn. If you aren't on LinkedIn, you're committing career suicide. But don't just be passive on LinkedIn, be active and fill it right out. If you look for another video in this video cast series, there are lots of videos on how to strengthen your LinkedIn profile. And I'm also here to help you. Submitting your resume late. Generally, uh, an application runs on job boards for between four and six weeks. There are exceptions, but four and six weeks. So you have a long time to apply. Now I know you might just notice a couple of days before the, it closes, but try never to be late. Sometimes they accept them, but invariably they don't. Arriving late at an interview, oh my gosh, that's so terrible. What does that tell? That's the first impressions count. Never ever arrive late in an interview. In fact, you should do a dry run. You should look how long it's going to take you to drive or go by public transport because you can never ever ever afford to be late. Ill prepared for the interview. Ill prepared on knowing a lot about the corporate culture, the history of the company, what they do, the products, the services they offer. You need to do a lot of research. So never, ever be ill-prepared. Inconsiderate or rude. Several people have told me just recently, and it scares the living daylights out of me, that uh, people answer their cell phone in the interview. Oh my gosh, you have crucified your chances of being hired by that. So turn your cell phone off, forget about it. Your prime concentration should be with the interviewer or the interview panel. Always customize your resume. Take some of the verbiage, the words, both the hard skills if you've got them, and definitely the soft skills, and put them in from the job notice and put them in your, in your resume. So you need to customize your resume every time you apply. Applying to jobs you're not skilled for. So many people in the hiring positions tell me that they get hundreds, if not thousands of applications where those people who are applying have no skill set in that particular, for that particular job, but they apply uh, just for the sake of it. Don't do that. You're wasting your time. You're wasting the hiring authority's time. So make sure you apply for only jobs that you have the skill set for. Failure to network. You need to network, network, network. You can network uh, in person, you can network online. You need to find out a lot about that company. This is where you can do your research. Networking is, is, uh, is good for that. You can find out the, cult, the corporate culture by networking with other employees at your target company or where you've got an interview coming up shortly. So network. Network is, brings the greatest rewards. In fact, here in Canada, 79% of jobs, or around that figure, 79% of jobs are found through networking. They're not advertised. In the US, it's slightly less. It's about, uh, about 70%. Uh, 
and then uh, as you go into Europe, it goes down a little bit, but it's still the bulk of getting job search leads. So never ever count networking out of your job search. Not being serious. If you're in career transition, treat a job search as a full-time gig. So many times I speak to people who've been in career transition for maybe eight or nine or 10 or 12 months. And I say, well, how many hours a day do you spend on your job search? They say, oh, one or two. Well, you need to treat this as a full-time gig. Eight hours, preferably 10 hours, or even better, 12 hours. It's like anything. The more you put into it, the more rewards will come your way. So you need to put effort into a job search. Treat it as a full-time gig. I am passionate about helping you reach your career goals. I have an offer for you, a free, no obligation, resume critique and LinkedIn audit. I will give you 30 minutes of my time for free and go through those two vital ingredients in your job search, your career management, your resume and your LinkedIn profile. However, I warn you, I say it as it is. I'm realistic. One error and that can halt your job search. Are you interested? If so, email me below and also subscribe or link in with me and send me a message via LinkedIn, send me your file, your resume file, and then we can have a conversation. I would really like you to help me as well. Comment, like, share on any of my blogs. Career management is very important to you and to me. So see you in my next video.